Hello, it's Katya here for Finabad team. Today I have an old candlestick and a flower pot and I will set them together. The four old flower pot was made like 10 years ago and I'm thinking to give uh, it that more like my style today. And it have like a paper on it and I'm not looking for perfection so I don't take all the paper off. So I start by painting everything with white heavy gesso so it will be a coat. The candlestick have already black gesso but because I was thinking to have another project. When everything is dried up I have made a lovely face from the vintage portrait. Everything is made with uh, paper clay and uh, it's not dry because the pot is round shaped so I try to work really carefully and the drying time is a really long time for this project and I have these um, molds and they are from redesign from Prima and I'm working really really carefully uh, even if they get a little bit broken I don't mind because it will be like a vintage project and I love to find like new use to projects or, or items. Here I will glue all my molds with heavy chest, uh, he uh, heavy body gel and I have like a really thick layer and like I said I try to make like a new shape on it and gluing it carefully. It's not a difficult way uh, and you can do anything what you like. So you see me adding heavy body gel and because of the mold, the clay, it's not dry. It takes a time before it's really dried up and I will not use the heat gun too much. So it took like two days like to dry this up. So think about that when you're working. Otherwise, I hope you will enjoy this video. Please give the video a thumb up if you like it and let me know what you're thinking. And you can also subscribe and if you like the channel, click on the bell button and you will have the notifications. It helps the channel. Okay, you see me working and now I'm adding the vintage pro, uh, portrait over the pot and the, like I said, the pot is from Ikea. And uh, yeah, everything will dry up and uh, I have not like a great plan. I'm going uh, with the flow like I'm used to do. And I'm thinking that this project, you can have like pens in it or flowers in it or use it for a candlelight. Anything you like. Now I will add some texture to my, my project. And you can see me, I have like a small a little bit more stiff brush and I'm adding like the white sand on the edge uh, mostly of the molds. Like uh, I want to create like the effect that it looks like the aging have been and it's and the aging starts like in the gaps and not on the flat surface. So I'm going around here and there and adding the texture and that will be dry. I'm doing the same with the candlestick and yeah, 
not so much but anyway they are like a texture and I like the effect it's uh, exactly how I like when everything is dry I'm painting everything again with uh, white uh, heavy gesso now I will add crackle everything is really white painted and now I will add like clear crackle I can add like a really a uh, uh, heavy thick layer of uh, the crackle uh, on the flat surfaces but I'm also adding like uh, with the brush like a more thin crackle and e uh, of the crackle uh, paste and I'm also adding on the molds a little bit here and there not everywhere and I'm sometimes I use the spatula and sometimes the brush especially on the flat surface I'm using the spatula and I try to give it like a various effect if you add in like too much and because it's not a flat project it will be like moving so I start when I'm leaving that for drying because I will not use the heat gun and it took like many hours to get it dry because it's winter when I'm doing this video if you leave like uh, live in a more um, heated uh, country it go more fast but like I said it's uh, not so warm here and uh, so I start drying it but it start to drip so I will just turn around the pot after a while so think about that if uh, you're doing something with the clear crackles it moves so I'm doing that on the candlestick also and adding a little bit here and there and uh, even if it's here and there I'm trying to add like almost everywhere hope you understand what I mean and uh, I'm looking forward if you get inspired of my project please let me know yes it would be fun to see now i'm having the finabar uh, gilding glue it's a glue and when it's ready it gets sticky so i'm adding it here with a brush because like here i want to come in the crackle here i have fine metallic flakes in the color barcelona oh it's just a beautiful uh, colors it's golden and it's uh, a little bit black and it's red and you see me i having taking it with the brush and adding it where i have add the gilding glue you must wait a bit before the gilding glue gets sticky and you can use a heat gun or leave it for a little bit while so you see me i will go around my candlestick and adding the gilding glue wait a little bit and then adding the flakes and these flakes are just amazing and i really like how various they can be so now i'm picking a a really stuff so like brush and I will like brush off the excess so when it's you have the glue you can really brush really hard uh, because I want to have the effect a little bit here and there like uh, the effect of agening have been on the same place that these candlestick have been like really luxury one type and you see the same process on the pot in the edges little bit here and there and not really a plan i go like instinctively and adding 
uh, like that and leave that for drying a bit and then picking with my brush and when you have the glue on the brush it's a little bit difficult to pull it off so take care if you use a brush I'm usually using finger when I'm doing this but when you want to come in the gaps it's a little bit difficult it's not so easy so I'm working I'm working and going here on the pot and yeah and doing the same here I'm pulling off the excess so it will not be too much because this will be like a project that I will have like home decor at my home so it's really fun to make your own home decor projects yes I like that effect and the clear, clear crackle it's dry it's really very important that the clear crackle dries before you do this now I will have the new antique waxes and I use the color suit and it's a suit color black uh, color and uh, yeah I want it to be like black and a little bit like dirty so you see me using a brush and it gets really black I'm going on with the brush I'm brushing it on and it gets like very very gorgeous effect and I have a baby wipe it's a little bit dry if you want to pull off more you can have a wet but paper towel is perfect to wipe it off but here on the clear surface on some places I want to wipe off more that's why my baby wipe it's wet so I'm doing this and trying to come in all the gaps and then wiping off and I'm working a little bit here and there and you can see how gorgeous effect and a little bit dirty effect it is and I'm trying to pull off more but to sure that everything is really dry and you see how it look on the molds you can wipe off more on the edges but it's start to look really really great and I'm doing the same on the pot pulling in the gaps and then working really hard to have in the gaps yeah then the portrait and then I have my baby wipe and you see me pulling off and suddenly it show much better and it comes and uh, get the top gets white and in the edges are more dark so I'm working like that and you can see how gorgeous the crackles uh, are how the antique wax go in the crackles and I'm pulling off and working until I am happy and you see how dark I still want to have like a little bit more luxury effect so I put like white pearl metallic wax on my finger and the effect to have on the tops, uh, top where uh, it's more whitish it's amazing so I'm adding on some places the white wax if you don't want a shiny effect you leave it like that but I like the shine and now it's shiny and grungy at the same time and I like the mixes of uh, two different things like that like matte and shiny luxury and um, like oldish thing yeah that's my I always like to work with contrast I go with the finger and not everywhere a little bit here and there and you see me going on the top of the decorations and it gives like a really white polish uh, like that and also on the top 
little bit here and there, not too much, but a little bit shine. And the effect is amazing. And now it's time to pick out the gold in the metallic fine flakes. It's golden. So I have vintage gold and adding it on the top again. But I'm really, really careful because I don't want it to be too much gold at some places only. Like really, really fine, not too much. So on some places I go really light-handed and adding it only on some places because I want to pick out the gold in the from the flakes. So I show you again on the pot. Carefully, I go over, not everywhere. And perhaps you don't think it will show too much, but on some places it show a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. And you can pick other colors. You don't need to have like the white pearl or vintage gold. Choose what you like. And that's your own preference. And you know the waxes, they come in different colors. And you can use the antique waxes in any color you like. And you add like that. I'm so loving the waxes, uh, the new antique waxes. And I will do like the same process like I did today, but with other colors. Yes. Now I want to add a little bit more grunginess, carefully, carefully. The waxes are glossy, so it can be a little bit hard to add like the liquid acrylic paint now because it will not stay on the glossy surface, it will go. So in some, some edges, there are not so much of the wax and there I can put like the the acrylic paint because the burnt sienna is a really really nice color for shading. I loving it. That's the color I can't live without for sure. So you see me adding a little bit with a small brush and spraying a little bit water and that's give like fine extra touch to my project, my candlelight or pot for flowers, or you can have pen or anything you like. I will have some flower in this one. Yep, yeah, and they will glue together like this. And I really love my project and hope you will enjoy it too. And Look at the photos and have a nice day and evening and see you soon again. Bye bye. Take care.